I'd like to show you how to edit a remote file on a Unix server with Emacs. So I've got Emacs running here in a window. This is on a Mac platform. I have iTerm up and running and the instance I'm going to log into is on AWS EC2. So I have a temporary server here. And I'm just going to get the connection string um, just to test the connection. So I'm going to SSH into it. So I copied the connection and I will return to iTerm and I'll paste that in there. And then I have to change the path to my um, keys. So I'm going to uh, modify this here real quickly. So it's uh, bin slash AWS slash keys slash. All right. So now with that, I hit return and I'm in. So now if I do a DIR, I see I have a test.txt. I'm gonna use VI, one of the editors in this series, uh, VI to edit that, so test.txt. And I've got some uh, uh, short line. It says this is a test file. So I'm just going to exit out of here, quit. Okay, now I'm still SSH'd into the server. Now I'm going to go over here to Emacs. Now the way that you connect to it is uh, you you say uh, Control X, Control F, and it gives you this fine file. So the um, the protocol that we're going to use is SSH colon. Now I'm going to paste in that connection string, but I'm just going to go back here and get rid of everything past uh, SSH. So for Emacs, it is SSH colon and then user and then host, All right? So EC2 user at host at, you know, the host string. You find that in EC2, right? For that particular instance and then colon, the name of the file. So it's test.txt. So that brings up the test file. Now I'm going to add a f another line here. So hello world. This is edited via Emacs. And I'm just going to hit save. So I think that's that icon right there. So it saved it. Now I'm going to exit out of that buffer. Now let's go back over to iTerm and pull that up with VI. Let me just hit the up arrow key, test, and there it is, voila. You have edited a file remotely via Emacs.